Hey guys, it's Amber. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a quick little get ready with me and kind of chit chat with everybody. Um, I got a new camera, so I'm super excited to be filming to see um, how this setup works and the lighting and to see um, if this camera is better than my old one, I'm hoping it is. Um, I got the Canon 77D and um, I'm just using the kit lens that came with it right now. Um, so if you guys use the 77D or and have any suggestions as far as settings go, um, I'm slowly figuring it out, um, but it is a work in progress. So um, let me know if you guys have any tips down below. Um, so I'm going to do my makeup and chat with you guys. If you are interested in watching this video, then just keep watching. All right, guys, so I'm going to start it with eyes as usual. Oh, let me get my mirror. So life has been super busy as usual for me. Um, a lot of exciting stuff going on. Yesterday was Mother's Day. Happy late Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Um, I had a great Mother's Day, spent it with my kids. Um, we kind of just ran around and did errands and visited my mom for a little bit. Um, but um, my son woke me up pretty early with a huge card. Um, it had a puppy on it, which I love dogs, so, um, and so does he, so he was super excited to give me that. Um, and then I, they got me, um, a couple gift cards, and they gifted me this awesome Gucci bag. Amazing, right? Isn't that cute? Yes, it's authentic Gucci. Um, just to give you a little bit of a, I don't know, idea. Um, I'm sure some of you have heard before that um, my husband buys and sells things. He actually got that at a yard sale for $20. And my son was like, oh, I know mom would love that. So they gave me that for Mother's Day. And I love it. Holds a lot of stuff in it. So I'm liking it so far. And of course, I feel all bougie carrying... Um, Gucci and one of the ladies at my church yesterday um, was like oh I like your purse and she was looking at it and she's like oh what is it and I was like it's Gucci and she was like oh okay <laughs> I'm like and then I had to tell her no I didn't pay for it it was actually $20 at a yard sale um, I don't know it's just so funny because we find all these really awesome expensive things and I always have to tell somebody like Get, I got it at a yard sale um, and it always strikes up that conversation of all the cool stuff we find um, at yard sales and stuff like that. It's pretty funny. My, just let you guys know also, not only do we buy and sell, but probably 99.9% um, .9 of the stuff in my house is from yard sales. So. Um, if you guys would like a tour, um, I'd be really happy to do that. Even my office, just my office, um, is 99% um, from yard sales or offer up. So um, I'd be happy to do that. I, and actually, I've been planning on doing that. I just haven't gotten around to it. So look forward to those videos. Um, so yeah, Mother's Day was great. Um, the kids and I, we started off at IHOP. And then we went to... Then we went to church, and then we went to my mom's house, and then, like I said, we went and ran some errands, did some a little bit of shopping and stuff, and got my daughter some shorts and stuff for summer because summer is quickly um, approaching. The kids are going to be off in two weeks, so it's right around the corner, and um, the kids and I, we're actually going away to summer camp. It's going to be my first time at summer camp. I'm going to use the... Um, Actually, I don't want to use this. I want to use... What do I want to use? Mm. No, I don't want to use this. Um, let's just go ahead and dive into this one. I haven't really used it that much. It is the um, Lice a Drag palette. Um, has really pretty colors in it. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, something um, new that's been going on in my life is that I um, 
have started volunteering at my church. Um, I am actually one of the new um, youth group leaders for the seventh grade girls at my church. And um, I was just feeling like the need to serve and do something more selfless. Um, and I've just been really enjoying it. I've really been enjoying um, talking to the girls. Not only that, but learning. I've been learning so much. Um, we meet before every um, session. So we meet for youth group on Wednesdays. And then also I do um, Sunday afternoon church. So um, we have a huddle with all the team leaders before church and before youth group. And just talking to our youth group leader um, who runs the whole program, he's just super smart. And, um, you know, we all kind of discuss the issues that we're going to be talking about for the message that day and kind of how to um, present that to our our middle schoolers. And just I'm just learning um, a lot of stuff there. And it's, it's really fun. And I encourage you guys, if you guys are feeling a need to serve, look at you know your community and get involved um i'm super busy and i just figured um i just signed up for it they called me and they actually had like a grueling no i wouldn't say grueling but you know if you're working with the kids they did do um, a background check they um what else did they do oh i had like a whole interview and stuff like that so i was surprised that they do all that for um, volunteer positions. So yeah, I highly encourage you guys to get involved if you're feeling that nudge inside that you want to do something. Um, like I said, I just what signed up at church. They called me, and that was it. And I started. Um, I started probably about a little over a month ago, and it's been great. Not only that, I get extra time to hang out with my kids, which I am just loving um, watching them interact with their friends and seeing the good influences that are, have been around them um, that's been really encouraging and like I said I actually get to go to summer camp that's in the first week no second week of June so I'm preparing for that um, it's church they call it church camp but it's more like a conference and um, we're gonna be going to Daytona Beach I'm staying at the Wyndham Hotel and yeah so it's gonna be fun. Um, so what have you guys been up to? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. Oh, not only that, but um, my husband, um, he's been doing his eBay thing for about a year now, a little over a year. And, um, but he also wants to get, um, like a regular job and kind of do eBay as, I'm going to move my mirror over here, as a second source of income for us. So he applied for a job. He, um, did the first interview and he has a Skype with this uh, for a second interview tomorrow. So that's super awesome. We're crossing our fingers for that I mean it's not something he needs he's doing pretty good but it would be nice to just have like a regular 9 to 5 and do eBay on the side um, and not really have to worry about he doesn't have to hustle so hard because he he hustles um, during the week and I help him and it's a lot of hard work to tell you the truth so, so yeah um so that's going on uh what else? Mm. Okay, so if you watch this video, watch any of my other videos. Um, you can see I've just been starting out. If you guys have ideas for videos, Please let me know. Um, I know I did the tanning ones. That one seemed to be really popular, but I would like to do other things besides like tanning videos or whatnot. Um, 
Like I said, I'll do the house tour, kind of give you an idea of my decorating style. Um, I don't think I'm a good decor decorator, but I do feel like the stuff that I get from Yard Tales is just awesome and I love sharing, like I said. So, um, can't wait to share that one. I started a new book today. Um, so I've been feeling like, obviously, I, like I said, I have a lot going on. Um, and with that said, yesterday during service um, with the kids, they were talking about noise and all the noise in our life and how to tone out um, the bad noises so that we can hear, you know, the good stuff, the good stuff that we need to focus on. And um, I've been having a lot of extra noise that I don't need. And that's uh, mostly internet stuff, social media, um, just spending a lot of time on things that don't need my focus and that I shouldn't be wasting my time on. So I came up with the schedule um, for my day and what I plan on it to look like is, so I have it written down in my notebook and the way I envision it working is waking up well, let me give you an idea how my day went before. I would get up late, usually around 8 o'clock, and then I would um, start work, um, just kind of hop out of bed, get my coffee, um, and just start work. Um, most days I would not work out. I haven't been working out, which I need to work. I need to work out. I need to get a schedule. So that always irritates me when I don't get up early and I don't start working out and that already starts my day off pretty bad. So um, from there what I would try to do is try to work and work out at the same time. I set my uh, treadmill up with a kind of like a desk so I'd walk and work at the same time which is great um, but uh, I'm not focusing on one or the other. I'm not giving my 100% on one or the other you know what I mean it's like my work is suffering because I'm taking the time to walk and you know I'd be doing other things um and my workout was suffering because I'm not putting that much energy into it because I'm still focusing on trying to focus on work so if I get up early and I work out before I even start work then I can focus 100% on working out and giving it 100% at work. So um, that's my plan. Um, I'm going to try to wake up early. I want to start my day off by doing a little bit of prayer and meditation, transition into my workout. Um, and then from working out, I want to shower and get dressed for the day like a normal person. Because <laughs> I don't do that, I'll just roll into working in my PJs and I really don't get dressed until like the end of the day because I work from home so I'm like eh who's gonna see me and then by the end of the day I feel like crap because I haven't gotten dressed all day so that usually sucks um so today I kind of did my new schedule Oh, and another thing, like I'm constantly on my phone, just like wasting time that I should be working and I should be focusing on things because what I noticed is I was not focusing so much on my work, being distracted with things at home and just life in general. And I kind of had a few, not screw ups at work, but I was forgetting to do a few things and my boss called me out on it and I just told him you know I was like I'm sorry I've been distracted so that's what I'm trying to fix right now is just to have a clear mind um and really focus on the things that I need to focus on so yeah working out taking my shower and then um I'm gonna give myself that up until eight o'clock eight o'clock yeah eight o'clock or nine o'clock um if I want to check stuff between 9 and 12, I'm not going to check my phone at all. Um, I may have a book, audiobook playing, um, but I'm not going to be checking social media or anything like that. Um, that is my plan. And then at 12, I'll check it kind of like a lunch period. And then I'm not going to check it again 
until the end of the day. So I just want to be more present and more focused on work and kids and all of that stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to start my day early, wake up, do my prayer meditation. I love that color. Isn't that pretty? Mm, I probably need to turn down the white balance. Let me see. Gosh, that's annoying. Um, let me see if I can turn it on right here. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, we're just going to have to live with it. Um, meditation. Oh, what, are, what was I saying? Do my meditation. Workout. And I did it this morning. I feel so good. Um, that I got things done today in the order that I wanted to. I was more focused on work. And like I said, oh, sorry. Just felt really good. I am going to get, I bought a new eyeliner yesterday. Finally, this is my favorite eyeliner. Um, it lasted me a whole year, so. And I used my points, so I only had to pay six bucks for this new one. Mm. Kind of out of focus there. Um, and I tried to buy a different one. I got, went to Sally's yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I went to Sally's. Whoopsie. Oh, Went to Sally's and I got the collab eyeliner and sorry, but that one sucked. Um, I know that Tati was raving about the mascara, so I bought a mascara, which was great. And I figured, oh, well, I'm here. Let me try their um, eyeliner. So I tried their eyeliner and not so good. <laughs> I did not like it at all. So I'm going to have to take that one back, um, especially because they were $12. So um, this one's $9, but with my points, um, I got it for six. So. so yeah, and I love the flexibility of the pen on this one. It's awesome. Okay. and stays all day doesn't smudge it has that really flexible like flick paint style um, applicator and I just love it oh I also got beautiful roses yesterday for Mother's Day And, oh yeah, so um been spending a lot of time with the kids since we've been going to church, um, the youth group and stuff, but especially with my daughter, um, she has her eighth grade, um, I guess it's a semi-formal dance coming up, and um, we had to go dress shopping last week, so that was fun, and she's just getting to a fun age where we can talk and have fun. 
she has a crush that <laughs> she's just a this little girl she's she's almost 14 so she's getting to that age where oh goodness where they can go a little boy crazy so she's right there at that age Okay, I'm going to have to stop there with those eyes because if not, then it's going to keep going and going and going and going and going. Um, so yeah, um, she said the age she has this crush and she talks about him nonstop. And he is, <laughs> this little boy, he is actually super cute. He's an, a ninth grader, so we'll see how that goes. Um, he's been like talking to her and sitting by her during... Um, church and stuff like that so she's like oh my god I think he likes me so that's been fun mm. oh, got the worst the worst cramps ever oh they just started Emily Noel did uh, a video on Dollar General makeup today. Um, it was really impressive. I'm like excited to go to my Dollar General and see if they have any of that stuff. The eyeshadow palettes looked amazing. All right, um, I am going to, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of matte primer. This is my Becca Ever matte primer that I love. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was pretty fun. We went to go get my daughter's dress, and then after that, I took her to. I like to go to the cosmetology um, schools and get services done there because obviously it's a lot cheaper. And um, you know, it just gives those girls a little bit more experience. Um, but when we got there, I guess the girls that were scheduled to like work on us, they did not want to do nails. So um, it took us a, a maybe we were maybe waiting like five minutes. I don't know. And um, so we got sat down, and the teacher finally came over, and she was like, "I'm so sorry." She's like, "These girls are about to graduate, I guess," and they nobody just I guess nobody wanted to take care of us so she was like so you girls get your services for free and it was so so it was nice they did her nails and stuff and my daughter she got tips put on and I knew I knew as soon as she got those tips put on that when she got home she was gonna take them off and thank goodness that that service was free because I would have been so mad had I paid for those tips and she took them off Oh, I just put on my, this is Mary Kay. I love this setting powder. It's actually super, super good. Um, okay, so let's see. What else do I want to do? It's going to keep it simple. I'm not, not really going anywhere. Um, so I'm going to try this Mary Kay Sheer Mineral Pressed Powder. My husband came across a whole bunch of Mary Kay, of course. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to use that. All over my face and just buff it in. Where's my big? Oh, there it is.
my eyebrows are going a little haywire. I shaved them not too long ago. Not shaved them, but like um, cleaned them up with the razor. So I'm going to have to do that again. I use those twinkle, those twinkle little razors to shave, get rid of unwanted hair. On my face. Um, I also went to Sally's yesterday and picked up, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, and they were having their um, hair care sale where you buy one, get one free. So I remember when I did the um, generic brand of um, let me just do that. Um, hair care, and so it's buy one, get one free. Um, if So if you guys are interested in seeing if those would work for you, um, go stop by and pick some up um, still working great for me so I was excited because I just ran out and um, I've been using it for a while so so yeah okay I'm gonna grab some I'm just gonna use my Milani I use like a dark shade of Milani for contour I'm gonna use that really quick just to put a little bit of color contour and a little bit of bronzer I'm using my LA or no Lorac tantalizer And I'm going to finish my eyes with my pen. It's the, um, gosh, what is this called? Man Eater by Tarte. I got this in a boxy charm this month, which is May's. Um, usually, actually, I think it might be here today. I completely forgot to go check the mail, but I think it's here. So, I'll probably do a review on that. I haven't done a BoxyCharm review in a while, but I'm not really looking forward to that one because the spoilers, like I said, they didn't excite me. But the June one, um, that that's the Boxy Lux comes in June, so that one's going to be pretty good. It looks great. So this mascara is the one from Collab and it has that like spiky kind of short stubby plastic. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's the brush. in forever it's the makeup revolution I was looking for this this one um, has these colors in it super duper pretty Ugh, I love highlight and I've really been enjoying using this brush where is it is this it right here no that's not it um, yep here it is I got this one in a boxy charm look how pretty this one is oh, it's so light and fluffy Perfect for that. I'm going to dip into like the white color and the rose gold color. Yeah. And then I'm thinking 
looking just like a natural kind of pinky lip. Let's see what do I got here. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, those are one of those chocolate ones. Those things smell so good. So I'm going to use that with... Mm, I guess I'll use this one. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip. And I've been doing a look like this a lot, um, just not using foundation. And um, I've noticed that I really haven't needed it, um, to be honest. I don't have a lot of stuff going on in my skin. Really, the only thing is my pores. Um, and I have, obviously, some wrinkles. So when I add um, any kind of foundation to that, um, it can look really cakey. So I've been using some, um, a method a little bit different than this every day. This I'm not really going anywhere, so I wasn't going to do like the extra steps. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. I've been just using um, something that Jessica Braun had, um, I think from Jam Beauty, I think that's her name. She was doing a simple method that Zendaya um, shared in a magazine that she's been using um, where she's just applying like a primer um, and then taking a little bit of like a cream concealer and patting that in just like the t-zone and maybe the forehead and the chin and that's it as her base and it's been I've been doing that and it's been looking great it hasn't you know you don't have all the extra oils or extra makeup on you to like kick up or anything like that so I've been enjoying that a lot Mm. That's a little gray. Mm. Ooh, it smells like chocolate. Mm, that's a little too too like grayish. I don't even know what color. <laughs> Why do I get like some pink up in here? Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not a good color on me. Looking for like my, like a burgundy color. I know I have one. Where is it? Oh, no, it's not those. It's, it might be this one. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's this one from Wet n Wild. I'm going to use it. Because this is too, like too gray. I don't know. That looks a little bit better. Let me see. Oh my God. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, just leave them below. If you have any ideas, uh, videos that you want me to do, um, leave those below below uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys